What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King 053, Mr. Easy Money, and we back at it again with another one. And um, uh, we're just going to cover this thing of the Al Jazeera Gold Mafia season one, two, three, and now four is released. And um, it's very interesting to see how everything unpacked itself and uh, was unfolded by the by the documentary and i just wanted to leave some thoughts in your mind um before we go um anywhere we need to look at this 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 um uh, documentaries carefully with two eyes the the first eye is the why are they doing it the second eye is what came out of it i want us to to focus on the on on that okay the another reason why I, I believe why the the al jazeera exposed so many people is i believe the 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 white monopoly capitalist system wanted to eat and they saw that they can't eat without these government officials that are eating because of the sanctions that were enforced on the on zimbabwe they wanted to eat on their own way. So once they found out there's other people that are eating, then they expose those people. We need to understand what is the why. The same thing happened in South Africa with the with Jacob Zuma and the Gupta family. The Gupta family were, were, were providing ESCOM with 4% of its coal, 4 to 6% of its coal. But because that 4 to 6% percent was still a significant amount in terms of of money they were they the the media began to expose them as as thieves and as thugs with uh jacob zuma to say these people are stealing from escom and um uh, jacob zuma's son is involved the guptas are involved jacob zuma is involved and they they made us believe that uh, jacob zuma was the most corrupt president in the world and after Jacob Zuma left, we saw that the ESCOM situation got even worse without the Guptas, without everything. So be as it may that it is good that we have found out so many things in Zimbabwe. First of all, let me greet my Zimbabwe people before I even continue. Mangwana ne makasimba here. So... Uh, uh zimbabwe the i think the reason why zimbabwe people were so heartbroken is because zimbabwe can could have used that money better in terms of their roads their health system um their infrastructure they could have they could have developed uh, uh those aspects those industries very well with all of these millions that have been looted out of this country and um, we saw people, uh, respectable people uh, like uh, Rotendo saying that Al Jazeera is fake and everything. But I'm so happy that the government of Zimbabwe, the president, Nangagwa, did not only sleep on this news, but he took action. And um, first he stripped uh, Hubert Angel from his uh, role. And Yumbi uh, Angel was claiming that he can sign documents on behalf of the president. I mean, it's on camera; we can't debate it. And then we, then we, then, uh, then, then it was followed up by the Reserve Bank of uh, Zimbabwe freezing the the bank accounts of everyone that was implicated, so that investigations can take place. It does not mean that they are in the wrongdoing because they were not found in any wrongdoing in any court system, but. Um, for investigative purposes, let's freeze your account so that we can investigate. And um, you saw uh, with Hubert Angel, his church, even here in South Africa, Zimbabweans going to the church and uh, picketing outside the church and stopping church services and uh, saying enough is enough. And um, I do understand their frustration because we cannot debate video evidence, ladies and gentlemen. Once you found me on video, speaking out of my own mouth, there is no one that can defend that. You can be blind as much as uh, you want to be blind, but the question can be asked is, if Hubert Angel and all of the, the, this uh, white boy that he walks around with, 
uh, who's by the way is in church right now as I'm as I'm recording this video. They are busy with the We're Easter service, and next week, uh, uh, Human Angel will be in in um, in London weekend. with uh, with an, on the seventh and eighth of again. of April, uh, doing another uh, Easter Easter so Easter uh, service. In fact, not in next week. This uh, as in today. Sorry, they are busy with the with their service today in London, their Easter service. And um, you ask yourself, where is, where was the prophetic gift when they were doing all of these things? Does this mean you bet angel is a fake prophet? Me and you would like to believe that, yes. But I don't think when they are doing corruption. And even if he was a true man of God with a prophetic gift, I don't think God will give him the prophetic gift to 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 do criminal stuff, you know. And um, people are still going to the church. The church is full. I'm just going to play some videos here. They are singing. They are doing whatever. People are still going to the church because um, religion is the biggest uh, brainwasher and this and and um distraction to a desperate and a poor mind and a, a, a weak mind desperate mind can be easily convinced with anything a poor mind can be easily convinced with anything in the church and uh a, a, and a, a weak mind meaning a mind that can't think for itself can also be con uh, uh, convinced with anything that uh, you want to convince them with but to prove my point i'm going to play a video of prophet uh, makandiwa who is also from zimbabwe and listen to what he had to say those can see that that man of god is a fake but you my god the way that you fight for him everyone is saying can't you see how come these people cannot see that this man is fake <laughs> Fake members. <laughs> <laughs> members are fake. How can you have people that are very easy to deceive? Very easy to deceive. You can lie on Wednesday. <laughs> Public. And on Sunday, you find them there waiting for you. You can get away with any sin, no matter the evidence. No matter the evidence, they still come and they sit. And even yourself, men of God, you're wondering, these people are they normal? You see, there's a certain group of people that you, you, you can't even brag that you have members because you're saying, <laughs> you're worried about your people. How come they are so foolish? What is being said by other people about me is true. But my own people close to me cannot discern this. Would you even be happy that you have members that are fools that cannot see the truth? You don't have people. You must be celebrating people that stop coming to your ministry because those ones are smart. They have seen the light. Mm. Yes, so he said it best, and I know it personally, because for those who don't know, I was in uh, Shepherd Bushiri's church, and um, but when rape allegations and stuff started popping out, luckily my eyes opened, and I was like, no, man, this, this can't be a man of God. And we walked out, but there's still family members that are still there, and um, the same with uh, Hubert Angel's church, people are still there. They want to they want to believe that this thing is fake it's not fake ladies and gentlemen and i don't want to be speaking about spiritual things on my channel there are many other channels that cover that perfectly i'm doing this only because of the gold mafia uh, title that is the, the tag that is uh, attached to uh, mr hubert angel but i wanted to say wake up black people wake up listen and trust your eyes because if you can trust what you are hearing and you can trust what you are seeing with your own eyes then you are as blind as a man who was born without a sight 
Because what does it help that God gave you a mind, a sound mind, a mind to descend, eyes to see, ears to hear, but you're not using those senses. You don't want to use those senses. So it is clear for me that um, we as black people still have got a long way to go. That even video evidence, we don't believe it. You know, and it's okay if you say, listen, um, I... I see there's something shady about my prophet, and even if he's wrong, I stand by him. Okay, if you say that, then it's okay. Then I'm not going to argue with you. But I'm arguing with the people who say, I saw the videos, I don't believe them. I, you can't just brush these videos aside. You can see the government has taken action, the, 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 the assets are frozen, the bank accounts are frozen. Then you who are sitting in church and listening to the saviors of these people, what are you thinking? What are, is your is your mind working or is not working? It's so sad to be um, to 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 see this unfold, and I'm just happy that Zimbabweans are finally waking up to such things. Zimbabweans are taking action everywhere in the world. You see Zimbabweans on social media making videos and standing up against this corruption. So, um, without further ado, um, thank you to Al Jazeera for making those season one to season four. Uh, but just know there's always a hidden agenda behind their investigation. It's not always clear, but we cannot ignore that our people were found uh, with their hands in the cookie jar. That, that we cannot ignore. But the, the, the agenda of Al Jazeera will never be to build a black nation. Forget about that. They will, that will never happen. But the problem is that there are thieves, uh, thieves around us. And we have to deal with them so that we can have progress in our land. It's your boy, King053, Mr. Easy Money. Tell me, guys, what do you think on the comment section? Do you think, the um, what is your uh, analyzation of chapter 1 to chapter 4, uh, season 4, season 1 to season 4 and everything? Do you think it, it, it helped South Africans and, and Zimbabweans? Do you think that... Um, and these episodes are building or breaking the nation. Uh, for me, from where I stand, I think they will do more building than breaking because I think going forward, if you have to steal gold, you have to smuggle dollars and everything, you have to be extra careful. And whoever they're going to employ at the airport is going to be someone with integrity and someone who's not going to be easily bribed like these other thieves that were bribed and they look away and they do whatever. But as long as there's people in the system, there is a element of corruption and an element of error that will always appear. It's your boy King053, Mr. Easy Money. Until the next one, I'll see you.